if, if, if he didn't know that, I've just out with you, Edward. He, he's out. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 100%. Mom, Dad, Edward's gay. Oh, oh shit. Um, <laughs> so, but I, I, my brother gravitates towards a, like an older, uh, more mature character. Yeah, I, I've that seen that. Me. I think in, in, in but your your brother's quite uh, he's very highly intelligent. Is he? Man. Yeah, yeah. well, potentially. Um, and um, he can't. He got. I've got something. He couldn't. He didn't get the rig or the. The chat. So, good boy. Your brother's fit. All right, relax. <laughs> Heard about your ex boyfriend. Don't you hear about my brother? So, <laughs> so you know. But in, I know in the gay community, that's a, it's a very normal thing to go for, for, for you know have an older person with a younger person. That's yeah. kind of a lot. It more, is very, it, very normal. Yeah. Very normal, right? In that, in that, like, that sphere. And I'm not saying it's, it's not it's abnormal anywhere else. What I would say is interesting, though. It's interesting that if, it's not accepted in that community. Yes, yeah, fine. It is accepted. Yeah. I agree with that. But I, you know. If I was a 23-year-old bloke and I was rocking it with a 50-year-old woman, because, I mean, this is going to cause a controversy, but it, it sort of can sometimes work the other way, but I don't, imagine I was rolling around with like a 60-year-old now. Yeah, no, no, I think you're completely right. I think it's incredibly uncomfortable if there's a man in his, you know, 50s with a, with say, a, and we'll just say for argument's sake, an 18-year-old guy, so obviously very young, but obviously very legal. That makes people feel very... Make her 20, so there's no, you know, no... Fine, 20. Well, I mean, 18 is legal anyway, but fine. 21, for argument's sake. Argument's sake. Oh, that would make people be a bit like, oh, is he a bit gross? Why don't they just go bristle? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't like that, Blake. Like, oh, is he a bit gross? Like, is he all right? Like, what's wrong with him? Interestingly, you're right. If it's the other way around, I don't think I would be remotely shocked if one of your, in fact, this has happened before, rugby friends turned up with a very, you know, much older mm. girlfriend partner. I wouldn't be surprised at all. And I think it is because of what you said. I think I think men really do sexualize older women. And I hey, I mean I'm all for that because I'm gonna be older at some point too and I want some of that attention. Um <laughs> I don't mean like physically. Yeah, I, I think mean you do. like I think you do. Yeah. I mean like visually, but might be the well, last I'm, couple's quarantine we do with my but whole actually, bag of wine, yeah. you're, you're completely right. It, it is a little bit of a double standard, a societal double standard. And and you're right, it does apply in the gay community and it's very, very accepted in that community. All my gay friends have older partners uh, or younger. <laughs> yeah? yeah, I'm just going through them in my head, yeah, 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 depending. And I would say, um, but like significantly, yeah. like significantly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're completely right. And what was the last thing I was going to say? You actually, you have dated and been with and... <laughs> had fun with a lot of older women right <laughs> oh my let me god ask you a question. you're not supposed to out people o- online well i don't think anyone's remotely surprised but let well, me I'm ask sp- you a question my parents might be surprised my friends did you ever actually date no. an older woman seriously no why <laughs> um because those connections were not they were physically based <laughs> let's put it that way i you know i think look you know, when you're a younger guy, there's that, all that Mrs. Robinson vibe, you know, yes, sort of exactly. education process. I mean, she got educated, let's be honest, but... Um, um, doubtful. Well, you say that, but she went into it with the best intentions and was, you know, turns out I was the lecturer. You learned everything from By the book, end of the week, apparently. she was called to be professor, so that's how good I was. It didn't <laughs> happen. It did didn't happen. happen. Yeah, professor Haskell. Um, she turned out like a stress of the school girl, which I'm is not. a bit odd, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> and so... Uh, um, no, but I, no, I, so I went into that. I think I quite enjoyed that, you know, I was 21, 22. Uh, I think she was 30. Well, she said she was 30. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was about 42, 43. Um, but that was an interesting sort of period of time, an education period. Also, and you know, when you stopped dating her or whatever it was. Dating. You, don't, you know. always put down as dating. Fine. Okay, dating. when you stopped sleeping with her. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't a lot of sleeping, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear, like a few of your friends, like, oh, can I? Can I? Is it okay with you if I get her number? <clears throat> I like, so no. I do think. I uh, do think. It's no, but okay. I also I think for men, there's a lot of like, you know, there's nothing better than sort of an older, probably divorcee, little bit of cash, absolutely looked after the, the rig and set up, looking a million dollars. Who's got a little penchant for a, you know, experience? That's what I said. Who are you talking about? Sorry, male or female? Female. Oh right. Okay. I would. I would rather. If you if you could say to me, I'm getting the feeling that you are like a ta- like just a smidge of a gold digger. No, no, I mean you want to be able to take you out for lunch occasionally, don't you? You know because that's why if you, take, <laughs> if you go for a younger girl, you've got to take her to Nando's and pay every time because you've got your pocket money. Oh, uh, and then you know if you go to an old lady, you, know, you know little bottle of Montrachet and before I'm, you know it, ha- I'm two years younger than you, and I take you out for lunch. Yes, we're not and talking about you. There's a work the with the analogy. So it's not about age. I no. mean, I know a lot of people, a lot of women. This is very split down the middle, actually. I know a lot of women who who earn more money 
and do better than their husbands. Yeah, that wasn't what I was talking about. Who I mean, who aren't older? No. So I mean, I, I don't just think... meant when they've got a, when they're divorcing, they've got a bit of cash and self earned or whatever. They just you know well, spend a lot of money on upgrading self, the setup. If they're divorced, then they then they, they've left the divorce with cash. It's not self made. Well, well no, 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 I didn't say she'd left it. We weren't analysing her financial situation. <laughs> I meant as an old piece. She's she, listen. She's looked at herself. She's decorated herself. Up, the rig's there. She's out in the town. She <laughs> like wants a little a bit of something, tree. something. Yeah, like a Christmas tree, right? <laughs> She's got the baubles on, big baubles, because they're, <laughs> they're, they're the real key. Um, big baubles, and not, you know, no fake bums, we're not intending that crap. <laughs> nice, we're gonna, nice that's the show trim. we're going to do about that, actually, women nice going mad on, on body, body changing. But, um, so I don't think that's oh, a problem. I, like I think what I would say to this, uh, this, this guy was, look, first of all, society judges on everything. Everyone's bitchy and judgy. If you genuinely love each other, then I don't think that's necessarily a problem. I do have one other concern that we'll flag before we move on, which was, because of that dramatic age gap, when he's 50, what's he going to be 70, love, 80 something? Love does not work like that. And when you've been with someone for years, maybe in the beginning, maybe the first... Well, you'll be able to like, park if, straight if next to Texas kind of, if he gets that old and get one of them blue badges. If it's like kind of like a cliff edge, like you're dating someone and they're, and they're a lot older, and but it's kind of going okay, and then all yeah. of a sudden things very rapidly change. Yeah. Absolutely, that would be a valid point. He says they've been together for like five years already. Yeah. They've obviously got a good old, you know, he's only 50 for crying out loud. It's not that old. You know, Jennifer Aniston's in her 50s. <sighs> Jennifer? Yeah, I know. We'll get to that because there's another one here about that. Um, it's a good segue. But um, what was I going to say? But love doesn't work like that. When you, especially as we get married, I agreed that come hell or high water, I would be there for you and I would take care of you and that is born out of a genuine unconditional yeah, love my decline is going to happen a lot quicker potentially it's already started yeah, well, <laughs> I mean I, you know, I crap the bed once and you say I'm you. <laughs> I haven't um, done that by the way don't put that in the paper this is couples quarantine this is couples quarantine I think you're overlooking the fact that when you really love someone and you agree to spend the rest of your life with them, you agree to do so regardless of of things that might crop up and pop up. And actually, you know, there are a lot of people out there who are in their 20s and married and something awful happens. And, you, you know, you stick by I each agree. other. And look, my, my, I dare say because my mum will never, I don't think she's going to listen to she this She will yet, but, not listen to but, this. But I think my mum's like quite older than my dad. Well, pretty sure. Do you think? She is, but I don't know what well, she, she looks younger. So yeah, her know, my mum's aged. There's, de- there's, there's a there's a portrait in an attic somewhere that looks like oh, an absolute I rat bag. I hate it when people say that. Oh, your dad must have a portrait in oh, the attic. Oh, oh you a, must have a. I'm like, that's we the most come middle up with class people. Phrase. I don't think a lot of people go around talking about portraits. I you know, think so. people think it makes them think that they sound super intelligent. Oh, it's not story and gray. Yes. Relax. <laughs> there, and then I was going to say because then they get to go. Actually, it's story and gray. Is it Charles yeah. Dickens? I don't even know. I've no, never read it. I don't know. It's not I'm Charles pretty Dickens. sure it's Charles it's not, Dickens. It's not. Um, I'm just bear with while I Google. This. No, no don't. well, you can Google that. Well, I'll finish off what I was saying. So I don't think. Look, I think first of all, there shouldn't be obstacles in in the way of love. I, I think there is certain th- areas where it becomes a bit obscure, and I think sir, I think you've got to understand what you have in common. I think older men hanging around with younger girls is very Oscar suspicious. Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Um, good friend of mine um and um I like the name Oscar. and I, I think there, there's certain aspects that i think you've got to be considered one thing i will say though is like how old is too old for a man with a woman because we we had a thing in a in a, in a rugby team once and we were sitting down and everyone's like <laughs> standard conversation sipping our coffees complaining about everything god training shit how old's the oldest bird you've shagged right and it went around like oh you know 40 you know someone went 50 like 50 oh my god and then some prop walked past and went 70 and everyone just went whoop it would be a problem and when st- <laughs> and, and, honestly everyone stopped like coffees were spilled things were aghast hobnob fell on the you, floor no, babe no and I went um and he went yeah yeah I went back to her um her sort of I was gonna say care home but went back to her house and she was <sighs> she was seven yeah 70 okay and he said that uh, looked pristine but obviously when you started to unwrap <laughs> yeah I mean, so a present I, under the Christmas tree <laughs> like a present under the Christmas tree you get the Christmas tree analogy so I just don't know but it, but it was interesting I mean maybe we'll get some older couples on because you know older couples we should are, get my parents on I don't want to talk to your parents about sex that's really not no, what no. I was talking about we don't have to talk about sex I was going to say about older people topics. are still doing it you know still because you know what, what age do you stop doing it I think well women I think studies show that women hit their sexual peak in their 60s <laughs> 
Really? I know, I'm so excited. Maybe that prop wasn't wrong. Maybe 70 is the actual angle. No, I said hit the peak in the 60s. Ah, right. But then you think about it, right? So a lot of women will go, will um, hit menopause around that time and they'll start going on HRT. And HRT can, it can go any which way, obviously, um, which I would hope people would would probably guess. Um, but it can have a huge effect on your libido. Can it? Yeah, it can. Get you on HRT then, will we? Um. <laughs> Okay, okay. Or should well, we look, get you on HRT? So, so, uh, Mr. Uh, afternoon only, uh, just basically trying to make well, up lies and excuses. A lot excuses. of people agree with me. We've actually got some questions on that why they did agree. Um, but, so I think the conclusion is, we've basically said that love has no boundaries. I think it is quite shady for older men to hang around. Younger girls, it's not cool to hang around with a 30-year-old because uh, what or older because what the fuck are they doing really oh no it's something we all have to go through uh, yeah fine and I think just be um, really careful and can I just say one thing I was never this girl because obviously I'm a mouthy little gobshite in case you hadn't noticed but some of my friends got really pressured into doing stuff that they were they were not in a, in the right frame of like they were not in the right place to be doing but they got pressured into it because they really fancied their older boyfriend and I would just say like I doubt we have any young listeners. I hope we don't. don't, But if we do, do not ever, ever, ever feel like you have to do anything that you're not ready to do. And I know that's a bit of a serious thing to do, but it did happen all the time. When you're talking about that, I just feel like I need to say it because I didn't do it and I didn't give a shit. (laughs) Took a a turn for the dark dark path this episode. But anyway, we'll get on this. Good morning. That's how I ended up. I like like climbed the mountain of experience and I got to you at the top. (laughs) It's a dark, it's a dark thing. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and I think actually people more like the gay community. They're, they're very accepting. And I think it it seems to work better there as well. What do you mean work better? Well, it they seem to be more better. upsetting. Well, more, uh, 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 there's no lack of, not so much judgment. Yeah, no, I know. We talked about that. You'll repeat it, Kate. Next question. I still don't think you want to see me operating around like a 70-year-old woman dating. I don't think that works. I think men age better, but... Men do age better. Just putting that out there. Anyway. Well, some women are not doing too badly. Oh, yeah, of course, Jennifer Anderson. And once. Charlize Theron looks like she's 25. Charlize Theron is unreal. And James is obsessed with her. Okay, oh, the next question. So if we put that to bed, let us know your thoughts. Have we gone well? Have we gone wrong? Was I talking shit? Was Chloe right? Who knows? Um, I don't really feel like I passed much of an opinion. I had an opinion. Yeah, <laughs> shock. Okay, okay, on. right. Next question. Hi, guys. Love the first episode. It was really funny. Uh, and you both have great banter. Don't lie to Chloe. Um, after James confessed his love of Jennifer Anderson, and you both recently rewatching Friends, do you both have lists of five? Do you have a list of five celebs you're allowed to sleep with? And is it <coughs> laminated? Great reference from Friends. It's laminated. It's laminated. That's not the final version. <laughs> it's laminated. <laughs> you can do the whole episode back to front. Yeah, um, yeah we-, we do. But the problem is. <laughs> We do. This is going to sound like the biggest wanker sentence in the history of the world of all time ever. But James and I frequently find ourselves in situations where the celebrities that we fancy or that we watch on TV or at the cinema end up in our sphere, sphere in our social group or in our hotel or something like that. And In your hotel? Who have you been in a hotel with? No, you know, like celebrities when we go stay in hotels that end up there. So what I'm saying is, is that... It became very clear very quickly when we first started joking about this kind of thing and then we started meeting these people that maybe this list isn't really that fantastical for us and that we shouldn't apply. And I know that sounds awful and this is not, it's not, um, what's the word, Uh, premeditated. It just happens a lot. And obviously because James is an England rugby player, a lot of people was, a lot of people, you know, watch rugby the he would people would just come up to him and be like hi i'm da 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 or like because of my parents someone would come up to him and be like oh i went on your parents show or da 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 and it all just became a little bit too real but let's just have fun and so yes we do have lists and i'll let you go first yeah it was a bit awkward i had judy finnegan on my list for a long period of time but then i i met her and i think she felt the same but we just didn't want to ruin anything um, she did feel the same the first thing she said to me when she met you was if you don't marry him i will i was yeah. like all right judy sit down richard offered me out for a duel <laughs> with fencing swords he did actually tell you to fuck off he did actually tell you to fuck this off. how lit my parents <laughs> yeah, are no, no. dad tells you to fuck off and mum like literally declares her want for you right <clears throat> I, I got invited i'll just quickly explain this i got invited to boxing day food right first time i was gonna meet her parents full family day being the rater I was, I was like, I can handle this. Rolled in, met all of her family, met Richard, 
met Judith, like, my God, it's Rich and Judith for TV, they're lovely people, like we had a great time, food was fantastic. And I went into the I'm pretty sure my brother spent the whole time taking sneaky photos of you yeah. to send to his friends because yeah. his friends are all complete rugby nuts. Like Jack doesn't watch rugby ever at all, had no idea who you are. But they were like, is it the James Tesco? Send us pics, send us pics. And I remember looking across the table, drunk. 